I've been looking into Islamic terrorism since I was a 14 year old. I'm not going to pretend to know more than anything about anyone else on the matter. And I'm not even going to pretend to assume I know the Islamic world better than Muslims. I'm not here to do that. But I know the Islamic way of life and doing things pretty well. I can't speak Arabic fluently, but if I could, I could very easily pass off as a Muslim. I know the mannerisms, I know their way of thinking, their way of doing everything back to front. That doesn't mean I've been spying on them or stalking them or anything like that. That's not the message here. I know them inside out. As part of knowing them inside out, I've analysed their modus operandi, their, their, their general motivations of doing things, their history, the way they uh, conduct warfare, their historical crimes. I know a lot of things about them. One thing that even Hamas, even ISIS were not fond of doing is desecrating babies or killing babies in the most humane manner. ISIS came as close as one can get to brutalizing human beings by force. They actually did all that stuff. But no, and don't get me wrong, it can happen. I'm not saying it can't happen. But Hamas particularly, Palestine, Palestine, the Palestinian Authority, any resistance that has ever come out of Palestine. I And you can correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no actual historical proven incident where anyone from the Palestine, no matter who they are, resistance, Hamas, etc., has ever beheaded a baby. There's no, <laughs> there's no proof of it, not just that. It's not even a part of their way of thinking or doing things. It's never been documented. I could be wrong. There could be someone who knows a little bit more than I, but I know quite a bit. And I know that close to 100%, with 100% certainty, that's not something Hamas does. It's not something the Palestinians do, behead 40 babies. Not just one or two, but 40 of them. I've, it doesn't make any operational sense. It doesn't do their cause any good. And they know that more than anybody. You have to understand how they think. They are more sensitive than any organization on the earth as to how they're perceived because they need help. They genuinely need help. Beheading 40 babies doesn't help their cause. It would boil the blood of many people, such as myself. And that gives you cause to think, okay, if that's what it does, hmm, is that something Israel has done before? Is that something Israel would do? And they, they tick all the boxes for that. Israel have a track record of mutilating corpses, mutilating dead bodies, mut doing things to people alive. They, it is proven and documented, and this is by observers, observers in the UN, uh, people such as the SMOM, the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, the people who go around and do charity all around the Middle East, or the aid workers, in other words. They witness all this stuff firsthand. They know what the Israelis get up to. Fuck, the Israelis are that cocky, they even make movie, uh, shows on Netflix about it as to how they can switch identities very easily and appear to be Palestinians, appear to be Hezbollah, and they make cheeky, yeah, very cheeky shows about it, boasting of how clever they are. And mind you, in these shows they that they make, they show you how they shoot at people, kill people, and do all these things dressed up as Hezbollah and... They laugh about it, go back to Israel and have drinks after work. Apparently that's supposed to impress their Western audience as if they're one of us. Uh, yeah, no, no, mate. Definitely not one of me. Uh, so, I, it doesn't fit the Muslim way of doing things. I, I've never, I've heard of the time babies were fed to crocodiles. And that was a few of them, not hundreds of them, just a few of them. And that really boiled my blood. When I heard unconfirmed reports that 
Islamists in North Africa were feeding babies to crocodiles. I don't think I'd ever been that angry in my life. Because these are newborn babies. I don't care if they're your enemy. I don't care if they how much you hate them. It's one thing not to involve civilians in warfare, even a 16-year-old girl. But it's another thing to feed babies to a crocodile, and that really made me angry. But it was unconfirmed, and it could have been propaganda. It, it That, by any means, wasn't conclusive. Although other reports were that were conclusive that corroborated that and so, sort of made sense, and that was around ISIS time. So there were people doing really sadistic stuff. Absolutely true. But in the general pattern of things, they've never... It, it's that was that crocodile time, mind you, was like a one-off. That was nobody had ever done that before, and it was a really desperate situation in North Africa for Islamists, um, from what I heard. But this, it's in the it's on the papers. You can't miss it. It's all over the news. Israel are claiming that Hamas have beheaded forty babies, and they're showing it as evidence. That's the most. Let me put it to you this way. Again, I will I will repeat myself. Israel are known to do that. Israel are known more than any country on earth to fabricate evidence. And it's been proven many times over. It doesn't fit the Hamas purpose. It doesn't fit anything they're trying to accomplish. It's not something they've ever done. It's not even something they would do even in a military operation. If, however, the parents were killed of these babies, if... The, that's even if they are dead. God knows what the goal is. I, I don't know. But there are numerous scenarios where the Israelis very well could have some done something very, very bad or even at the best case scenario misleading and they're not actual real corpses, which I will, I will go to bed tonight praying for. Uh, 40 babies. The world doesn't belong to people that do that. Um, and I am of the strong opinion that the people reporting this stuff and going, ah, look over here, are the same people doing that stuff, or at least fabricating evidence or showing something that's not that didn't happen, showing a dummy, showing it could be anything. Uh, it doesn't make any operational sense. It doesn't make any political sense. I just can't see Palestine with all the aid they're getting from the EU suddenly beheading forty babies. Do you? And again, I appeal to history. The fact they've never done that, the fact it doesn't even add up to their way of living, their thinking, and I appeal to the fact that Israel are notorious for doing things like that. So this is a time for the international community to step back and analyse Israel for their true colours. Okay, We could have a real monster here, and it's called Israel, not Palestine.